Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 48 of the Stimulus Package. Today, we're talking about life. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I have been hit, I have been knocked down, and I have had the wind knocked out of me by life. And honestly, I feel like we've all had moments where we felt like, whew, I don't know if I can keep going, or I don't know if this is for me, or am I going to make it through this? Like, really, real talk. Am I going to make it to see tomorrow? And a lot of times I think that we find ourselves bogged down or dwelling on the things that have happened versus trying to, you know, revamp, revise, and become new. And part of that is because we may be afraid of what can come from it or we may be afraid of getting knocked down again. But I'm here to tell you that when life knocks the wind out of you, God can breathe that life right back into you. But you have to be connected to him and you have to be self-aware enough to know when you have to like throw the towel in and listen to what God is telling you to do. I will be the first to say that I used to be a person who used to manipulate my situation. I would try to man manipulate my situation by doing everything I could to make sure that the outcome was what I wanted it to be. And in that process, I drained myself. I got in a lot of situations that I shouldn't have been in. I allowed myself to be connected to people that I shouldn't have been connected to. Um, and it was just like frustrating and I was tired a lot. Um, and I think that a lot of times we all do that. We all find ourselves trying to manipulate the situation for what we want it to be, but we have to realize that we're not in control. God is in control. So as you journey throughout life, I want you to remember there's nothing that you can't get over. There's nothing that you can't overcome when you're connected to God and Jesus Christ. But if you try to do it by yourself, those blows are just going to keep coming. Like life is going to keep doing this to you. And it's going to be hard for you to recover and hard for you to get your footing because you don't have anything to rest on. You don't have any faith or anything to believe in. So I want to encourage you this week to really take a moment to look at your life. Remember all the things that God brought you through. Remember all the things you've overcome. And think about how much you've grown. The, like the, the amount of growth that you had to do to get to this point where you are right now. Really take the time to give yourself grace and, and accept God's grace and favor. And know that he's called us all to live an abundant life, like a life of abundance. That means overflow. That means more than enough. God wants us to live a life of abundance so that when he pours out his blessing, it can go through you to others and it can help impact others. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to really focus and thank God for his blessings. And I want you to truly give yourself the opportunity to live an abundant life, to really understand that life doesn't have to be as hard as we make it. Go ahead and surrender and let God have the reins because he's in control anyway. So, all right, y'all, until next time, stay focused, keep grinding, respect the process. I'm Coach K. Be sure to follow us at Level 27 Coaching on all social media platforms. And come join our L27 Spark Plug Tribe at our website at www.level27coaching.com. All right, I love y'all. Have a great week. Be blessed. And I will talk to y'all later. And remember, allow yourself to live an abundant life and make sure that you get connected to the source because he will show you exactly how to do that. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye.